For this video, I'm working off of 05 duplicating third step.aep located in the chapter 3 source files. So if you're working with those files, feel free to open up this After Effects project file to follow along. What I want to do now, resuming work, is create the third step for our cycle. As you can see, if I were to scrub back and forth, we have a basic step in place. Of course, it's still rough, but what we need to do now is bring the third step back to where the first position was. Because we want to start where we begin in order to create a seamless loop. We need that starting and ending position to be the same so everything looks seamless once the loop is initiated. So first, what I want to do is click on Red Thunder Separated and then hit U on the keyboard to bring up all my keyframes for my puppet pins. And then I want to hit the tilde key on the timeline so I can see everything. The first thing I want to do before duplicating this first frame, we need to anchor all the pins from the second step. You can see on my timeline for all my pins, we have keys for frame zero for all the pins. However, the second set of pins, not all pins have the keyframe set. So that means if we don't have this anchored down for all frames, we're going to have what appears to be a floating effect with some of the limbs going back and forth. And so it's always best when working with animations like this to anchor everything down before moving forward. So all we have to do is just come over here. We're going to select this second set of keyframes. We'll click once on the previous keyframe button next to any of the puppet pins to make sure we are on frame 12. And then I want to select all these pins. So I'm going to start on frame zero and come down and lasso all the pins. I want to, while still on frame 12, click once on the add keyframe button on any of the empty pins to add keys to the remaining positions that did not have pins. And you can see now everything is set down and we're anchored in so we can move forward with the third step. And for the third step, we're just going to bring it over to one second. And I want to come in, once again, select all the keys from frame zero, command C or control C if you're on Windows to copy, command V or control V if you're on Windows to paste the frames. If we hit the tilde key, come back out and scrub back and forth, you can see that we now have the basic motions for the limbs in place. From here, we're going to build upon the animation. Up next, we'll add lift to the legs to help build the cycle further. 